Good morning everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. I thought I would just vlog a day in the life today. Um, although saying that, I didn't actually film getting up this morning. I didn't film my morning routine, which normally happens before about nine, it's 9 a.m. now. So all my morning routine happens before 9 a.m. because I actually do get up quite early. I've actually like filmed little TikToks and stuff of my morning routine. So if you wanna go see that, then you can go and go and watch those. But yeah, I didn't actually vlog this morning because I, I mean, it's only 9 a.m. right now, but my camera was dead. So I thought I'd charge it whilst I was at the gym and kind of just start my day from now. I have so much to do. So I wrote my to-do list last night. I do this every night and I say this to everyone I ever meet. If you wanna be more productive, and one of the things I always get asked is, how are you so motivated? How are you so productive? I am actually the most organized mess but the one thing I do have going for me is my morning routine and that is honestly down to doing a to-do list so every night obviously some people will like prefer to write it down physically I think it's fine in my phone honestly but um because they have like the tick bit but every night when I'm in bed I sit there and I write out all the things I want to do in the morning and then when I go through and I tick it oh my goodness it's the best feeling ever but also it means that my decision making is so quick that's one thing i'm actually quite good at i will hold my hands up and be like do you know what's up that's one thing you're good at and that's making decisions i feel like sitting on a decision like right now if you're debating doing something just go and do it like there's no point in sitting there and just waiting and like oh should i shouldn't i by the time you've made your decision you could have done that thing by now so if you do that when you're in bed at night realistically you're just gonna be like sat scrolling on TikTok or watching videos anyways it, it will be one of the best things you ever do so like literally little things like go to the gym do my step count mine says I've got an acting session in a minute with my coach do my acting session send off parcels I need to contact BA I need to pay my accountant I've got to do work I've got to, like a lot of personal errands I need to run um, so that is kind of what today is going to consist of my mum actually helps me a lot she's such an angel she always comes over and helps me like when I've got a lot to do but she's actually gone on holiday so one of my best friends Jasmine who obviously you guys know she actually said her day's free today she said she's going to come over and help me which is so sweet also my house is such a like a mess it is such a mess I've got so much cleaning to do I know you guys love a cleaning montage there's definitely going to be one today um, there's probably going to be a lot of them because this house is so messy I've been putting off all of my washing for the longest time so yeah I've just got a lot of personal errands I thought I would just kind of film a normal day in the life at home what I'm getting up to I've got brand deals and stuff that I need to film also to update you guys so yesterday I actually had a really good day because I did something so exciting and actually I haven't had a very last week wasn't a good week just in lot like I actually filmed a Q&A yesterday um, and I answered a lot of questions I've been getting asked a lot recently so that should have been up before this vlog so if you haven't seen that definitely go and check that out I was just saying in life like I've been so happy recently but the last week has really really taken a toll on me I've just found I I mean I've always got hate for everything I do in life but it's really been affecting me a lot recently so basically yesterday I went car shopping and I wasn't even going to mention it because I thought the hate that I'm going to get is going to be absolutely ridiculous to be honest ever since I bought my house like like I get so much more hate than I ever did before. But there's actually a reason as to why I'm getting a new car. I lease my car, so I do something called PCP, which is actually where you pay for it monthly. I've never bought a car outright. I don't really think I ever would buy a car outright i don't know maybe if i was getting like a lamborghini or like a supercar maybe i would consider i mean i couldn't right now i couldn't like i'm not getting a lamborghini or a ferrari i am actually very lucky i'm getting a very nice car but i don't know maybe like the situation would be different where like it probably would be better if you bought that car outright i don't really know enough but from what i've been told i'm so much better off leasing a car and so that's what i've always done it's what i've always known and so my lease is up on my range rover so i have to give my range rover back to the garage so i found this car and it's oh my god it's so nice i'm so excited but yeah i don't know whether to film getting it or not because i feel like there's a lot of you that would love to see it but also i feel like 
I'm opening myself up to probably a lot of stick. But of course, if you guys do really want to see that, then yeah, obviously, please do let me know in the comments. It's a hard time for a lot of people right now. So just the last thing I want to do is look like I'm bragging like, oh my God, I got a new car or anything like that. But at the same time, I have to get a new car um, because my lease is going to be up. But yeah, it is really exciting that obviously I'm going to be having a change. Hint, it's an electric car, which is obviously better for the environment and everything else as well. I also have an electric PowerPoint in my house. The guy that lived here before actually had an electric car. But yeah, so let me know if you guys want to see that. It was really exciting. I was like, a, honestly, me and my dad went together. It's always my dad that comes with me to the cars because he loves cars. And we were literally like big kids in a candy shop. I can't even tell you. So yeah, that's what I did yesterday. And I kind of just chilled at home and just worked for a very long time. Like this is my current situation going through scripts stuff right now because I love it. Well, I say right now, actually, that was yesterday. I was reading the script and it took me about four hours. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh my goodness, look at this. A thing I am actually really happy and proud of, guys, is I picked up this magazine and I am in fact inside. I did a shoot with my mum inside my house. So it's only gonna be out this week. Hopefully this vlog should go up soon, but this is the 15th of March. So obviously they bring out a new mag like every Monday. So yeah, let me know if you guys managed to get your hands on this, but I have six pages inside which is crazy. I actually can't believe it. It's all about my house. So if you wanna go and pick it up, definitely do go and do that. It has a lot of like my house that maybe you guys wouldn't have seen as well. But yeah, we have like quite a few pages. So this is so cool. Like I literally can't believe it. I think I look like, like a weirdo though when I bought the mouse because I picked up four. And <laughs> when I paid for it, I think the woman was looking at me like, why has she got four of the same magazines? And I was gonna be like, I'm in it, but she really couldn't care less. And I don't blame her. So I think she just thought I was a bit odd, but that's fine. So yeah, very excited about this. I'm actually gonna sit and read it because I haven't read it yet. Obviously I had the interview for the magazine, but I haven't actually read the magazine yet. So I'm gonna sit and do this. I literally, I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. It's moments like that where I really just have to pinch myself because it's just nuts that I'm in a magazine, honestly. I think I'm actually gonna try and vlog every day this week. Um, and just, I don't know, bash out a lot of vlogs so you guys can see, rather than just like events and stuff that I attend, like actually just see like my normal everyday life and like what I get up to. And do let me know as well, because obviously I didn't film my glute session this morning. Oh my God, I trained arms yesterday and my arms literally feel like they're gonna drop off because I only train them like two times a week. Oh my goodness, they ache so much. So tomorrow I'm having a rest day, but I was thinking the next time I do a glute session, I might actually film it because so many of you have been asking. I've actually had a massive, massive bum transformation. I never thought in my life, like the one thing I never thought I would get is a bum. I've always accepted, I've had this kind of like little pancake bum and I've just accepted that. I never even tried because I thought it's just not gonna happen for me, but it's happening and I can't believe it. I mean, I've still got a long way to go, but yeah, I thought I would, my glute session is the same every time I train my glutes because obviously progressive overload, as a lot of you guys know, is the most important thing, doing the same session and up in your weights. So it is the same thing every time I train my glutes. So if that is something you guys wanna see, then do let me know, because I don't know whether to include, you know, just like in a vlog or do a whole video just on my glute session. So do let me know. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I need to get in the shower before my acting coach comes and I shall speak to you guys after. is done um i've just showered and put on a full face of makeup i thought i'd actually quickly tell you some of my favorite makeup products i'm actually really excited because most of the uh, products i've been using on my skin recently have been fenty beauty obviously when i went away with them recently i got loads of their products and i love so many of them that i don't actually know when this video is going live so probably not the best time to buy if not but i'm actually working with fenty where i basically they're having like a huge sale they have it 
can't remember if they have it once or twice a year, but they're allowing my followers. I don't know what the deal is yet. I think it's going to be like a day early access to the sale or something like that. The sale is insane. Like it's one of, you know how Gymshark always have like the biggest discount like on their stuff. Like when they had their like Black Friday sale, I think it's the best sale of the year. When Venti told me, I can't even remember now because I had a meeting about it with them, I don't know, like a few weeks ago, the amount that that everything's discounted it's actually insane i would say it's up there with gymshark sale so soon they're having this massive sale on so if it's not on i don't go buying yet guys because it'll be on really soon and they are actually giving my followers i'm pretty sure it's either a day early access or two days which is amazing because apparently when they do their sales everything sells out so i thought i'd just really quickly go through some of my favorite products i've been using every day there's also some i'm still yet to try like they had this new fenty cleanser out and i can't even tell you how bad the I want to try it. I think it's going to be a bit like the Elemis cleanser, which I use all the time. It kind of just like melts into your skin and like when it washes off your makeup, it's the best thing. So I think it's going to be similar to that, but I haven't actually tried that out yet, but I am going to purchase that. So I don't know, that might be up in my favorites and I will leave a link to all of my favorites. Obviously once I've collaborated with Fenty anyways, I think they're going to have like a page with all of my favorites on, but also I will link them down below anyways. On my face, I I use the um, Fenty Beauty Pro filter. I don't know why I'm saying Fenty Beauty. You know it's gonna be Fenty Beauty because I've just said that. I use the Pro Filter Foundation. I've used the shade 265. This is like the perfect shade for me. This is way too dark, but when I have a tan, I do mix these two together because I bought this color and it's just way too dark. Way, way, way too dark actually that I've just been mixing these together when I have a tan, but it's more of this, honestly. 265 is like the perfect shade for me. Um, so that's the foundation that I used. And then I used the, actually today I didn't even use the Pro Filter Concealer, but I do love the Pro Filter Concealer. It's this one here. Again, Fenty Beauty is the same as the foundation. It's really good. It's such a high coverage. I actually used the Tarte Shape Tape today just because I I haven't got a tan and obviously as you can tell it's a lot paler um, than my Fenty Beauty one so I really want to get this in a lighter shade. The shade that I used for Tarte was Fair. This is super light. Bronzer. I use the Fenty Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade uh, Mustachio but I I have Honey Glaze and I actually prefer it. It's more of like an orangey sort of like warmer bronzer. I really like that sort of like bronze. It's probably like less of a contour and more of a bronze but I love it. But I actually used the shade Versace today because I don't know where my honey glaze is and this is the colour of it and my palette is super dirty so yeah ignore that but that is the reality that is the reality and then blusher I used this blush by NARS and this is in the shade Behave I have this like Fenty Beauty highlighter that I haven't used yet it's here and this is the best thing in the world and I don't even know if they still sell it but oh my goodness it is absolutely incredible and it's called Water Bra. I don't, guys, how do I, how do I pronounce that? Is it even gonna focus? I don't have a clue how I pronounce that, but just really quickly, let me show you how insane this is. Wait, okay, are you actually ready for this? I don't even think the camera's gonna pick it up. Right, this is what it looks like on the brush. Oh my God, you can't even see how insane it is on the camera, but it's actually, I don't want to put too much on because it comes like, it's so pigmented. The shine is just like ridiculous in real life. Oh my God, but I'm gonna look like an absolute global in real life right now. But yeah, it's just, it's phenomenal. But I don't think, I don't think they actually sell it anymore. Oh my God, it's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. You're gonna notice it when I'm like vlogging, you're gonna suddenly catch a glimpse of it. But I was trying not to put too much on because I would look like a crazy person. I'd actually look like a disco ball, but it's insane. If you can get your hands on that, get it. I just don't know if they actually still sell it. My Beauty Bay palettes that I brought out Oh my God, maybe like three or four years ago. I swear I bought them out in like 2018. It might not have been that long ago. Maybe it was like 2019, but I brought out these Beauty Bay palettes and I did not tell, stop telling you guys how long I worked on them for, how much I love them, just to show you that I'm still in love with them. Like I still use it to this day. And you're probably thinking, well, how is there still some left? Obviously, because it was my own, I had so many of them, just like how with my bulk collaboration, I have like, honestly, like, 
15 shakers, it's unnecessary, but because it's my own, I, I wanna have it for when I'm older, like I love it, I worked on it. So these palettes, I had so many, and I still literally every day to this day use this palette. Obviously you can't get it anymore. And I mean, Jesus, I am touching pan on the bronzer. I love this bronzer, in fact, just love this whole palette so much. I think it's the most perfect palette. You know, I tend to use like oranges and browns and blacks and stuff. And so like taking a huge palette, my makeup bag is already deep, guys. Like I, <laughs> I cannot be taking this big palette as well because I already am the biggest overpacker. So a little palette is actually perfect. So yeah, I love this, I still use this. I actually use it with a little um, brush a lot of the time. I honestly just fill my brows in with these eyeshadows. I use eyeshadows for so much. Like, I mean, even the bronzer sometimes I use on my eyeshadow. I use a lot of products for the wrong reason, I'm not even gonna lie. Although today I did actually just use a brow pencil, but I can't even remember what brow pencil it was. Is it Charlotte Tilbury that I used? It was actually really good. Yeah, I think this is. It's Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Brow Cheat. I'm not sure what shade it is. I'm trying to look, but I have absolutely no idea. But this is what I used on my brows today. Um, the got to be for sticking them up. Even though my brows are quite short at the moment. They're not really that fluffy. So I used that. And then what else did I use? For my eyeliner, I literally just used eyeshadow. And then mascara I used. What mascara did I use? I actually used the Fenty mascara. But then I went over the top with this mascara. Which is actually one of my favourite mascaras. Because it's double sided. It's really good. Um, I do like the Fenty mascara. But I'm not going to lie. I do prefer this mascara. So this is, yeah, the Huda Beauty. I don't know what it's called. Is it? just called legit lashes i think i haven't set my face yet i'm gonna do that now oh i mean to be honest guys i don't really set my face that much but i keep getting told that i need to so it's maybe gonna be a thing that i start doing but this is the urban decay it's a little mini one i thought it's better buying a mini one and see how i go with it and see if i actually notice any difference yes yeah, so i think that's everything oh and then lipstick I've gone on about this so much, but this, I don't, again, I actually don't know if they still sell this. I really hope they do because I got told the other day, I think they've stopped it, but they might have it in the sales. So have a look out. This is the unveil. Oh my goodness. It's insane. Like it's literally insane. It is the best thing for a liner, but obviously it comes out super pigmented. Like the brushes, the brush is a bit awkward. Not going to lie. It's not even focusing, is it? Come on, come on, come on you. Don't do this to me. Okay, right, you can see, right, the brush is a bit weird. It's okay, it's not really that weird. It's weird if you're trying to do lip liner because it's just a bit too thick. So what I do is I just get a little brush and then put, put it straight onto the brush and apply it like this. And it's the absolute best thing for a lip liner. And I'm telling you now, it will not come off your lips. It is insane. So my combo is this in the shade Unveil. Then I use another one in the middle called Unbutton, which is this like really light nude. I also, as an alternative, if I'm not using this and I want more of a peachy, even more of like a contrast, I would use this by, made by Mitchell. This is his blush. I always find that sort of a weird thing to say. This is his blush. Cause it's not his blush, it's his blush but it's such a weird word. Obviously it's cause it's for your lips and your cheeks. So it's blush, but anyways. I don't know, it's such a weird word. It's such a cool name, but it's so weird to say. And this is in the shade Can't Cope With Coral. It's very matte, but the color is literally incredible. As an alternative, I use that. And then my favorite gloss is the Gloss Bomb. And this gloss is in the shade Sweet Mouth. So I put that over the top of this combo. Anyways, that is everything that I used on my face today. I feel like I don't really talk about like makeup and products that I use. Well, I haven't recently anyways. So yeah, I hope you got some insight there. I was watching um, like a get ready with me with a girl that I just love on YouTube the other day. And like everything she was naming, I was like, I want that, I want that, I want that. And I thought, oh, do you know what? Next time I do my makeup, I'll talk through my products because finding a good product is just game changer. But anyways, I really do need to get on i'm going to do something to this hair because it is not looking cute right now so i'm gonna do that and then get back to you guys also as well getting ready with like a headband best thing ever because being a blonde you get so much makeup in your hair i also need to do my washing i have so much washing to do and i still haven't done it although i just clean whites and there's something satisfying about washing your whites I like to think I'm so good at washing lights as well, so. Oh my goodness, guys. 
these scent boosters are to die for. Like, you're washing, my brother told me to get these because I was just using the Lenore. I was using this same um, scent, the Lenore Gold Orchid. I don't know, it was a liquid form of this anyways. Anyways, these are so much better. Like, your washing will smell insane. I'm not joking you. You actually have to try. I actually still put in the liquid as well. I know it's a bit extra, but there's something about just having like the nice, oh, I always have the nice smelling washing. I'm not gonna lie. I hope if any of you that are watching this right now has ever met me or meets me, thinks I smell nice because smelling nice to me is one of the most important things in the world. I'm not joking. I don't know how well you can hear me right now because obviously the tap is running, but I'm running myself a bath and I am so excited because I am so cold right now. I'm always cold, I'm such a cold person, but I just find my house never gets hot enough. So I'm running myself a bath, which is not a good habit. I keep having baths when I'm cold, but obviously they're so expensive to run. This bath is also so deep as well, so I really need to get out of the habit of this, or England needs to do something about their weather. But my bath smells incredible, like I wish there was smell of vision right now. So I absolutely love, as you guys know, I wish more than anything that Laura Mercier would sponsor me because I love this brand. But their um, honey bath is just incredible. If you guys can invest in this, I 100% recommend it, especially if you are somebody that does love baths. This is in the almond coconut, but they have another one. I can't, oh my God, I can't remember the name. I'm gonna pop it up on screen. That also smells absolutely, oh, it's creme brulee. That's what it is. It smells delicious. I'm not even joking. But also my bath smells extra nice today because I'm also using the cow shed uh, intense sleep therapy bath oil. When I was at a farmhouse the other week, the spa, I got a massage and when I got out, you know, and they have like all the products and I saw this and I was like, I need this in my life because I love like, I love the smell of lavender and I love lavender sprays. Um, so I did in fact put this up, I put it in the bath and it just smells insane. I don't actually think I've ever shown you like the products that I have on the side, but all the products that actually sit in my bathroom are actually cow shed. Again, another brand I would like die to work with. But yeah, I have so many of their products. I feel like their products also just look aesthetically pleasing. I just got this new cuticle oil the other day and I'm so excited about it because my cuticles get so dry. My um, nail, I was gonna say nail lady, that sounds so strange, nail artist. Basically, the girl that does my nails, um, my friend who does my nails actually, she always says to me, I need to use cuticle oil. So she's gonna be proud because I ran out of cuticle oil the other day and I actually bought myself a new one. Again, I got this when I was in the spa. I got so carried away and bought so much. I also got this new bath and shower gel and it smells incredible. And then, oh my God, right? The guy that did me a massage, he used this body oil and I was like, oh, I need to get that. So <laughs> I bought myself the body oil and I'm hoping somebody, I'm not sure who, but somebody with nice big hands can give me a, a lovely massage with the oil that I've got because otherwise this is not really gonna get used. But yeah, I got that, so um, I don't know, whoever, me and my friends can maybe massage each other, I don't know. But yeah, these are the products I have sitting on the side. Um, I just feel like it's aesthetically pleasing. I just wanted to show you because I love this. All in all, it's actually been a really productive day today. I've got so much done. I am so happy. I still have a long to-do list for tomorrow. But to be honest, a lot of my to-do list is actually just waiting for people to get back to me. Like I can't do a lot of it until people get back to me. I'm actually gonna get up tomorrow and I'm gonna film a morning routine for my TikTok. And I think I might film that glute session. I don't know whether to do, I don't know whether to film my glute session for YouTube or film it for Instagram. I'm, I'm really not sure, I don't know. But I am gonna start uploading workouts on Instagram. So if you're not following me, definitely go follow me on there if that is something that you guys do wanna see. But yeah, I'm gonna film another morning routine on my TikTok. So, well, I was gonna say, it got lots of views. A lot of people, a lot of people did enjoy it. A lot of people, I mean, I got so much hate for my morning routine on TikTok. I think it was right, basically, I filmed this TikTok and I captioned it, my realistic morning routine and all the comments were like this is not realistic this is not realistic but it actually really upset me when I was reading the comments because everyone like I got so much hate from it and I was like this is my realistic routine I'm not saying it's everyone's realistic routine I'm not saying it's like a relatable routine but this is actually my realistic routine like this is what I do 
every morning. I'm not saying everyone can relate to it. I feel like relatable and realistic is two completely different words. And also everyone's realistic routine is gonna be completely different, right? So part of me really does wanna start uploading more morning routines because I know a lot of people did enjoy seeing it. And I love filming them as well. I love watching like morning and night routines, but that one didn't go down that well because I think a lot of people took it really out of context. Like I really wasn't, yeah, I don't know. I just got a lot of stick for it basically, but I do actually really like filming them. So let me know if that is something you also want to see. But I also don't know if to do TikToks with voiceovers more or do them with music. I don't know what I prefer, but you know what I do really like that I might film tomorrow? Is you know like when people just do like, almost like ASMR TikToks. My friend Jake does them and he's so good at them. And who else does it? Like Whitney Simmons does it quite a lot. There's like no music and it's just like the aesthetic sound like of just making your breakfast and stuff. I actually love TikToks like that. So I might try filming my morning routine tomorrow without music. But knowing me, I'll watch it and be like, no, nope, it needs music or it needs a voiceover. But anyways, I'm gonna get in my bath now because I'm actually really cold. I'm so cold, I'm actually still got my arms on. Like I've been walking around the house with my Uggs on even though I've literally washed the floors and hoovered the floors today. But my feet are so cold. I don't know how I'm such a cold person. I am not exaggerating. I don't think I'll ever meet anyone as cold as me. My friends think it's so abnormal. When you get in my car, I mean, most people are like literally freaking out, like they can't even breathe because they think it's that hot. I could have the heating on max for hours in the car and the heated seats and the heated steering wheel and I still wouldn't be too hot. Like, I just don't get to that point. Um, and it was funny because Jasmine like, um, was round earlier. I'm sorry, I didn't even vlog when Jasmine was here because we were just like, she was just helping me get on with stuff. But she starts opening the windows and I was like, Jasmine, I'm freezing. And she's like, how are you cold? I was like, just feel my body. And she felt my hands and she was like, oh my God. How are you like this? Like, if you touched my nose, my hands, any part of me, I'm cold right now. It's, it's really strange. Actually, one of the best things I've ever been given, uh, my Christmas present this year, was actually my heated blanket for my bed. And it's one of the best things ever, ever got. Well, not heated blanket, but heated mattress topper. It's one of the best things I've ever got because, oh my goodness, I never go to bed cold and it's just the best thing. But obviously I don't keep it on all night. I know that's like super bad. And I probably would get too hot if I had it on all night. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get the bath because I am cold. I'm gonna stop talking about it and actually get in it. <sighs> I'm not joking. I've been sat in the bath about two hours i didn't want to get out i don't really like washing my face in the bath so it doesn't look like i've been in the bath for two hours but i have been i'm gonna wash my face and go to bed i am like knackered it is now suddenly so late um i say suddenly two hours has gone by I've just been sat watching youtube and tiktok and stuff and yeah time has just escaped me but i've got on the cutest little pjs i think they're so cute um imogen actually bought me these and they're actually from victoria's secrets and they're genuinely i would say the softest pjs i've ever worn are skims obviously super pricey but they are just insane like they're so soft and these victoria's secret ones they are oh my god they're actually softer than the skims they are the softest pajamas i've ever worn in my life and this is what they look like i think they are literally so cute see i can't even deal so anyways i'm going to go to bed now i'm actually aching so much i think i said earlier i was meant to have a rest day tomorrow then a minute ago i was like oh when i do my glutes tomorrow and i just remembered it's my rest day and i remembered because i'm aching so much so so I'm gonna film my morning routine without um, a gym session more of like a chilled morning routine for either my Instagram or TikTok. So definitely do go and check that out. But anyways, I'm excited to wash off this makeup. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. That bath being emptied is so annoying right now. Um, but yeah, hopefully I shall see you guys soon. Bye.